business, of course. So you use the Autobahn toilets for your drug deals? Autobahn toilets are known as a place where there isn't much snooping around. So they're ideal for people like me. Ah, that's good to know. Welcome back to Autobahn Police Simulator 2. It's been a while since we played this game. That was mainly because we were actually stuck in the campaign due to a glitch. I'll try to post a picture of it, but this character right here, which gives a quest or a mission, he was actually turned around and stuck over there by the fridge. They had an update that makes these people unmovable. So I reached out to the developer on the Steam forums for the game and actually sent them my save file and they were able to correct the NPC position. So even though this game has a ton of glitches, not necessarily the most polished game, it was cool to see the developer uh, be very responsive on their Steam forums and fix the issue for me. So we'll continue where we left off. I think we're maybe 40% through the campaign. I'm also thinking about streaming the campaign on my Twitch channel. So let me know if you guys would be interested in uh, seeing that playthrough. Hey, we have something for you again. Someone has just reported a suspicious vehicle that looks like it has bullet holes in it. I can't imagine that they're really bullet holes, but we should investigate the matter. Huh, sounds like something from a film. We'll check it out straight away. All right, we got a new mission about checking out a vehicle that has some bullet holes. I don't really remember the story. I know we're kind of investigating um, a crime and we're in the middle of it. So definitely check out my other parts of the series if you're interested in how we got to this point. But we're going to head to this location in our patrol car. Get on scene and we'll investigate this suspicious vehicle. Pulling up to the location there. here. That seems to be the car. It's probably better if you take a closer look. Got it. Keep me covered, partner. <laughs> He's running. That man is running. Definitely saw us. Come on, let's chase him. But just be careful. If he has bullet holes in his car, he might be armed too. And I'd quite like to make it into retirement. There he goes. Gonna be in pursuit. A vehicle has broken down at a potentially hazardous spot. Can someone please secure the site? Traveling about uh, 200 kilometers per hour, which I think is about 120 miles per hour. Okay, we'll go if we have to. How gracious of you, Car 4. I've just sent you the coordinates. Still in pursuit, suspect has not stopped. Let's try to pull up in front of him here. Calling all cars. Officers are currently pursuing a fleeing vehicle. We need to block the slip roads in front of them urgently so that no more vehicles can access the Autobahn. Oh, he's passing on the emergency side. Sounds like we're trying to get a uh, blockade up ahead. Get this guy stopped. See if I can turn off this terrible noise. These European police ca cars had the worst sirens. guy's an idiot oh barely passing it's just occupied one time is he pulling over nope so we're going toward a wild camp as you know a famous head of state is using a short section of our autobahn we need one more vehicle for the escort 
still in pursuit. Speeds have dropped down. We're in like the uh, 70 to 80 mile per hour range. No backup has gotten here. Hopefully they'll have that blockade up and running. I could try a pit maneuver. I don't even know if that's an authorized thing in Europe. You guys let me know. I don't think I've ever seen footage of a European police car doing a pit maneuver. At the moment, we're just kind of following him. At least he's using his turn signals. Speed him back up. Oh. What's he doing? Pull over the vehicle. I'm giving it up. Is he stopping? No. We have a suspicious car. It is allegedly swerving across the road. Who is in the vicinity and can go and take a look? He's playing with us. He almost came to a complete right, stop and just took we off. Already on the autobahn. We'll take care of it. Dispatch, send us the vehicle details and we'll keep a lookout. Understood, car 11. I've sent the details to your computer. Speed him back up. All right, I'm gonna try a pit maneuver. Unsuccessful. Boost your GPS. Involving two cars. Car two, can you take this? Car two here. We're on our way. Understood, car two. Sending the coordinates to your GPS. We actually got him stopped. By pulling in front of him. Alright, out of the car. You're under arrest. You're coming with us to the station. I want to see these bullet holes. So this is a vehicle. I don't, I do not even see any bullet holes on the car. So we can't really get this towed or anything. We got them in the back of our car. So we're going to go ahead, head to the station for, uh, I think we can question them. see what information he has for us investigate suspicious vehicle okay we'll go ahead and take a look at it I guess it got uh, impounded here let's make sure to close this door I don't want you getting out buddy that will lock all right um how do we get back out yes looks like it's in our garage Here we go. Let's take a look at it. Oh, what do we have in here? Blimey, that is a lot of drugs. 
this definitely isn't just for personal use. He's got drugs in the vehicle. Ah, they really are bullet holes. Oh. We do have one, two, three, four, five. Five bullet holes. We got drugs in the car. Let's go ahead. Interrogate our suspect here. We need information. What is going on? Why does he have bullet holes? Why does he have drugs in his car? Why was he fleeing from us? A lot of unanswered questions here. All right, this is gonna get serious. Let's close the door. Turn the cameras off. And go Batman interrogation mode. So, on Mr. Walter, you've caused a lot of trouble. Running from the police, resisting arrest, and we found not only bullet holes in your car, but also a large quantity of drugs. You appear to lead a very exciting life. Tell us something about it. Don't I have the right to a solicitor? If you want to make things unnecessarily complicated, yes. But the evidence is clearly against you, and so you should be as cooperative as possible. Mm. Okay. Then ask your questions. Motorade tw uh, <laughs> That's where we found them. All right, let's go about the drugs first. Who do the drugs in your boot belong to? No comment. As you wish. He's, uh, I guess invoking his Fifth Amendment equivalent in Germany. What about the toilet or the uh, bullet holes? Where did the bullet holes in your vehicle come from? Yeah, uh, a difference of opinion with a client. From a drug deal gone wrong. Exactly. Well, he's admitted to uh, dealing drugs. What were you doing there before you did a runner on us? Business, of course. So you used the Autobahn toilets for your drug deals? Autobahn toilets are known as a place where there isn't much snooping around. So they're ideal for people like me. Ah, that's good to know. <laughs> he, this is a terrible criminal. He's admitted to everything. I've got all the information I need. Thanks for your cooperation. All right, we're going to go ahead and inform our chief of uh, what happened with that call. Close this. You are not going anywhere. Be locked up for quite some time with that amount of drugs. I want to congratulate you on the arrest. That was good work. Thanks, but there's probably more to it. The interrogation revealed that the Autobahn toilets are a popular drug dealing spot. We'll definitely keep that in mind. Completed, we got a thousand points. I wanna see if there are any upgrades that we might need. If you're not familiar with the game system, essentially you get points for completing items and you can unlock additional things. Looks like we can uh, unlock some additional work place. Uh, there's three categories here. Also upgrade. Okay. I want to save my points for the safety vehicle. As well as our skills. All right. So we'll uh, end the episode here. Guys, let me know your feedback. We'll save the game. And uh, we'll continue it again. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you guys on the next episode.